Putin can't do that. They can't even do that in China. Everybody is subject to law. But us, we've lost the protection of law. You know, that's the book I wrote those years ago, The Tyranny of Good Intentions. The title was How the Law Was Lost. And the publisher changed it. But we, we don't have the protection of law. And this began before 9-11, before, before the wars, before Obama and Bush. So if you don't have protection of law, you don't have nothing. This is the fact. And by the way, my latest book is The Neoconservative Threat to World Order. That's the latest book. It's just out. Clarity. Well, I, we need to have you back to talk about that book then. Uh, briefly, I guess it just breaks down uh, that, that the neocons are still in control. Or? Well, they may not be. I noticed one thing recently that's optimistic. Obama was interviewed on 60 Minutes by some neocon or somebody whose mindset is neocon. And the guy was trying to push him into taking aggressive action in Syria. And Obama, at the very end, said, look, what do you want us to do? Repeat all the mistakes we've already made? More troops in Syria, more back to Iraq, troops in Libya, troops in Yemen? He said, it would be a shame if we can't learn from our mistakes and not repeat them. Now that shows that he finally realizes after seven years, he's been a tool of a neocon agenda that he, that he said has not served the national interest of the United States. I wrote about this. Go, go look at the interview, just the Syria part of the interview on 60 Minutes. It was very recent. I forget the guy's name. It's two uh, weeks ago. Yeah, but, and I wrote about it just recently. And just go look at that interview toward the very end. This guy keeps trying to push Obama. It's all your fault the Russians are in Syria. You, you were weak. You wouldn't intervene hard enough. You, he, it's just like a neocon pushing him. And Obama says, no, we've made those mistakes. Not anymore. Now, I think, and I wrote, I said, this is an amazing thing because it's a very lonely and dangerous position for Obama to take. So what does it mean? You know, the president is always, people exaggerate the independence of a president. They don't have anything like the independence. People think, I know I've worked for the president. I know how little independence even Reagan had. Obama hasn't any, and yet he made this statement. So it tells me he's realized that he's been used for seven years, handed scripts, handed decisions, and they failed. And just go read it and see if that exactly well, what it says. In the very end of the serious section, or just go straight to my column, which will reference it. And, and that's uh, at uh, Dr. Paul Craig Roberts .org or Paul Craig Roberts .org. All right, well, very informative, and I guess it's good news in the bad news, but uh, overall, I can see it on the streets. People are waking up, or they're just getting well, stupider. Will, Alex, remember, people will fight and resist if they think there's hope. So don't take away all the hope. Tell them what's going on. Encourage them. And, oh, I totally agree. I totally yeah. agree with you. But at the and, same time, I think people... Back. I'll come back, when, but I can't really ever do much more than 30 minutes. It's just hard. I understand. All right, we'll talk to you again very soon. Congratulations on the new book, and thank you for joining us. Good. It's always good to talk to you, Alex, and all the best to you. Thanks a lot. Uh, there goes Dr. Paul Craig Roberts, smart guy, and uh, he's been really pessimistic in the past. He seems more positive now.